Do you, do you make everything here? Yeah, I do. I make everything on this table. I was doing a lot of research into Shinwazuri and a major part of that trend was porcelain. So I wanted to use that material to make something. I was already doing the knitted works, but I was kind of in making these characters and I wanted to make a, like a portrait bust of one of the characters. And then I just went ahead and kept going. It's like a gradual transformation of a character. That it started off being just a bearded man because they appeared a lot in art history. It was from looking at lots of European sculpture and classical sculpture and all the depictions were mostly of men and most of them were bearded and they didn't seem natural, they were like trying to put something on. It was, they're kind of pompous. They just, they're trying to project something, usually some kind of power or status. I had these drawings and one of the, one of the figures had curly hair, which was inspired by the curly wigs that European people used to wear. So I got really interested in representing those curls in the sculpture. I used to make these heads, which were mostly out of balls, to try to represent the curls. And then after a few of those, I made these bearded ones, which meant that the whole sculpture was almost all balls, except for just the eyes. And I think that's when it really took hold. I guess they look cartoonish because of the, because of that shape. Or, you know, that texture. Like, it reminds people of, I guess, childhood bubbles or grapes. It's just an organic form. This is the model of Henry Moore. So Gallery 1 is the introduction to, like, all the characters and my aesthetic, I guess. And then Gallery 2 is the, the little details from the images and the sculptures. And I don't know what Gallery 3 is yet. It's in progress. No, I do. It's, um, it's the tiled works, which are the most recent things. I started those last year. And yeah, these are some in progress, right? Yeah, these are in progress. These, these just have to dry, dry up. It's just a man with his dog. <laughs> a cage? Is that a dog's cage? Yeah, it could be, although I don't think he'd That's really fit in there. And then that inspired that one. It's it's, it's, yeah, it's just another version of the same image. Both the characters have changed. They've kind of become closer together. I've also made a sculpture of that figure, which is right there, near your feet. What do you think people make of them? I don't, I don't think I get any feedback about what people make of them. Do you think that would change in Leeds, though? No, I think I still get that question. Maybe it might, the, the exhibition w might help to explain it a bit more because they can see like seven years worth of work. And then they can see all the connections between them and work out 
the different developments and transformations. I think, yeah, that would be the best way to see it, rather than me explaining it. <laughs>